Hola, Bajer, Guten Tag, we say hello in your language, and today we are back in a new 1.17 snapshot. I can't put him! I can't put him! He's on fire! He was to- oh, um, um, I didn't put a button. <laughs> Um, anyway, we're back in a new snapshot that adds the lovely new creature of goats. The snapshot number will be right on the screen for you so you know what version you can use this in. And I'm going to basically show you some new goat house designs that you can use in your Minecraft world if you want to house your goats. Um, and yeah, I'm a night pony. This is my friend Flubbakin back there. Hello. And anyway, let's go ahead and get right into the video. But before we do, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tap the notification bell. And while you're at it, why not leave a like? We like likes. Likes make us happy. And we like them. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Starting off, first we have a design for a goat cave. Now to build this goat cave, what you're going to need is a bunch of different types of stones, including andesite, cobblestone, and smooth stone. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to build a dome shape in the ground that kind of resembles a cave. And I would suggest that you use a lot of stairs, slabs, and walls in order to make it look even more like a cave. And then you simply decorate the ground using coarse dirt and a site and maybe even add some moss carpet if you're feeling up to that. And then just tie your goats to a simple fence post and you should be set. Don't forget to add some simple fencing around the area to make it look like it's a an enclosure for them. It's the goat man. <laughs> goat man or not, your goats will surely find themselves at home in this new goat cave. The next design is a quite simple one and it is a simple goat stable. So how to build this is you're going to want to make a simple fence uh, around the perimeter of where you want to build. You're going to build a simple little hut for your goat to live under and a like I included a little haystack over in the corner. Just remember to always lead up your goats otherwise you'll have an escape goatist on your hands. Also, don't forget to include some detail on the ground, like Corster, and you can even add some glow lichen on the ground so it's a free light source and it looks really cool. This next design is one of my favorites and it is definitely a fun one. We decided to make a goat bouncy house. Yes, you heard right. A goat bouncy house because since goats like to jump, we thought, well, what if we made a bouncy house for them? Would they like it? Probably. And turns out that they like to jump and when they fall uh, back onto the bouncy house, they end up jumping up and down a little bit. So that's something kind of fun. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to make four pillars out of wool of any color you desire. You're going to connect them using fences to resemble a net. And you're going to design one side of this netting to be an entrance. You're going to tie your goats off in the middle and watch as they enjoy bouncing around in their bouncy castle. And best of all, it's great for kids of all ages. Yep, you and your goats will absolutely enjoy this bouncy house. The next design we have here is a goat island. So, you'll see that I have created uh, two islands for our goats to uh, live on, but you can make many more. Now, what I did to make this was I created a simple island using stone, and I even included some iron ore in, the, ore in there just to break up the texture. And you're going to build a pyramid type shape that's upside down. You're going to put uh, grass on top of that along with other foliage that you might see. Place your goat on it and you're all set. You can even add some foliage, including like a tree, if you feel up to it. And the great thing about this design is you don't even have to lead up your goats. They're fine to just sit there because they can't jump off and they won't jump off. So you don't have to worry about leading up your goats. These synthetic fibers are non-GMO. Your goat will thank you for this rare delicacy. Yes, let your goat have a rare delicacy with this clothesline design. Goats love to eat a lot of things, even the things that they probably shouldn't eat. So why not play with that a little bit and create a clothesline? So what you're going to do is you're going to make a simple frame using fence posts, put some banners on them, and tie up a goat to the, <laughs> to the clothesline. This will kind of resemble how the stereotypical goat will eat clothes off a clothesline. You can add some foliage all around it to make it nice and pretty, and you're all set. In real life, goats love to climb and be in high places. So I decided to reflect that here in this goat rock garden. So what you're gonna do is you're going to create some simple rock patterns in the ground using stone, co uh, cobblestone, gravel, etc. in order to make these nice little rock structures. 
You can even add some spruce leaves or any other type of leaf you feel into the design to make it seem a little bit more alive. Tie up your goats and include some nice pathways through the area and you're all set for this goat rockery. I have mentioned this concept in an earlier video, but why not use the azalea as a field? It kind of resembles a really lush field, so what you're going to do is you're going to place a bunch of azaleas all over the ground and even mix in a little bit of the flowering azalea to make it look like a flowering field and add some moss on top to make it look even more interesting. So. You're going to end up tying up your goats afterwards to keep them from hopping and jumping and running away. And then you're all set. You have a lovely field for you to add your goats. And why not have a picnic there? It'll look really nice. And because of crop rotation, this field is completely gluten free. Yeah, uh, I don't think the goats really care if the field is gluten free or not. But I'm sure that they will enjoy munching down on the azalea bushes. And that concludes it for our tips hey, and tricks. Hey, um, 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 Midnight Pony. Yes. There's a there's a bit of an infestation in the, yeah, in the I camper. Yeah, I see that. That's why I'm going to walk away now. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching our goat house oh, move, tutorial video thingamabobber. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave your support. Go, go. Oh, wait. If you enjoy, be sure to leave your support. Oh, it's greatly appreciated. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.